Hello everyone and welcome back to Keep Productive News. It is Francesco here. Today we've got an exciting update, but before we begin, make sure you are subscribed on both the YouTube channel and the podcast for more productivity news. Now today we're sharing a little bit more about Google Workspace. Now you've probably never heard of this, but it's basically something you already know. Google Suite or G Suite is rebranding to Google Workspace. We're going to break down all the changes set for Google Workspace, including tweaks to Gmail, Drive, Meet, and Docs. Obviously, G Suite has made a few changes recently, and they're obviously working very hard to improve the experience for remote workers after seeing recent success with Microsoft Teams. If you want to check out the Microsoft Ignite update, you can see that below. Now, for those who don't know, G Suite, or now Google Workspace, is used by 6 million businesses worldwide and it launched back in 2016. And you can now access it through workspace.google.com. They've changed that most recently. So Google, in their official blog post, stated they have three major changes for this. A new look in terms of logos, a new integrated user experience, and better ways to get started. Let's start with the new integrated user experience. So obviously there's a few tweaks and changes. One of the first ones that they mentioned is the ability to dynamically create and collaborate on a document with guests in a chat room. So they're definitely trying to make this experience so that you don't change applications and you're sort of in one hub accessing you know all of the major applications in one space. This is something they actually worked towards in their most recent uh, Google Suite update which I've done a video on if you want to check it out and sort of go back, date yourself. Um, but they're also making some moves with drive sheets and slides. And apparently you can now preview a linked file without actually having to open a new tab so that you spend less time moving between applications. Now, they're just trying to really make this experience a lot easier for you um, so that you're sort of not getting the headaches out of the way um, and making it more integrated. They also, uh, beginning today, will allow you to add to mention somebody in a document. And apparently a smart chip uh, will go and give you contact details, which is basically meaning a little bit of card pops up and whether they're inside uh, your organization, it will provide context um, and suggested actions like being able to add that person to contacts or reaching out to that person via email, chat or video. So they're just enhancing a few of the natural integrations that you would expect in an application like this. Um, and apparently they're also uh, rolling out the Meet uh, picture and picture to docs, sheets, and slides. So you can have a collaboration and a conversation whilst you're in slides. Um, and they're working on that uh, naturally rolling out. They release that back in July. So that's coming very soon. So as you can imagine, some smaller tweaks to the experience, but just making it more of a hub versus this separate experience, each different application. So when it comes to the new look in coming weeks, apparently you'll see four new color icons for Gmail, Drive, Google Calendar, Meet, and uh, our collaborative content creation tools like Docs, Sheets, and Slides that are part of the same family. And I must say the logos aren't too bad. They feel very googly um, to some extent. They're, they're, they're a lot more improved. Um, but basically Gmail, this is one of the biggest changes to Gmail logo in a fair while. Google Drive sort of gets a conglomeration of logos blended into one. Calendar and Meet also get new logos. So that's interesting to see. So you'll have to probably get used to those new logo apps. Um, but if you're on iOS uh, 14, I'm sure you can make the widget changes and, and change the way uh, they look. So uh, and you can do that on Android as well. But folks, hopefully you enjoyed this feature. I'll make sure to include the blog post that Google posted about this below. If you are new to both the podcast and the channel, please do subscribe and subscribe on the podcast as well. It'd be fantastic to have you. And if you want to hear more about productivity tools and softwares, do become a subscriber here. Anyway, folks, I'll talk to you very soon. Cheerio.